So this is what we call a nightmare angle. You've got a gap right here. You can put your finger in, it's so big. And then we've got some screws hanging out right here that the hangers left for us right there. And we've got another one that's hanging out right here, which we're gonna take out. Then on top of that, you've got this coat rack right here that's less than four inches into the angle. So we've got this right here, a three inch knife that does fit right inside here so we can mud this across here and wipe it down. So the quick way to go off and take a screw out is you, you take out your old trusty fang dangle scrammer right here, make sure it's on reverse, which is on reverse now. Then you grab the, take a knife, grab it from the side, not from the front, and you just spin it up and take it out, just like that. And then this one here, same thing, since in the angle. Get it to where you can grab it, spin it out, done. And then you got another one here, it looks like it's poking out. We're gonna go off and looks like we can screw it in. Yep, goes right in. And this one too, check it, yep, we're good to go. Now we'll go ahead and mud this angle, and I'll show you the proper way to mud these angles. What you wanna do is, since your gap is on this, it's on this side here, it's on this side, the new sheetrock has the gap. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you mud the other side first, the side that does not have a gap, you put it on first. You put the mud on like that, all the way down. Always do the side that does not have a gap first, just like this. Make sure you got everything nice and covered. This is where the little three inch knife comes into play. Just like that, go right above that. Keep going with that knife. Now, for the other side, now this is the side that has the gap. You go right down this side. You do not have to fill the gap completely up. You just want to get mud in it, is what you want. Then just just like that, just like that, all right. Now, of course, you know, everybody knows this tape is creased. Lay this on the side that's got the gap on it, the gap side. Slide it in nice and easy, laying it right into the angle just like this, where you stay on this side, the side that has the gap. And then you just cut it like that, laying it down fold it back over, nice and soft. Do not push it into the angle, just like that. And then when you go to wipe it, you wipe the side with the gap first, just like that. You wipe that side, just like that. All the way down, that keeps the tape from tucking behind it. Then you take your other knife, the other side, don't go into the angle. You don't have to touch this angle. You stay on the outside like this, and it keeps that tape perfectly straight so it doesn't dip in. And then, now that we're between that, you get right in there, and then you pull that up like that. And there is a good angle. The tape is not fall, is not falling back into the gap.